thank you guys for um, taking the time today. I watched the film a couple of days ago and it, it just blew me away. And you, mu you must all be feeling really proud of what you achieved with that. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah. So I was wondering though, for what was it for all of you about the project that made this a story that you, you wanted to tell and you, you wanted to be part of? You guys want to go first? No, nah, you should. <laughs> you want me to go first? Yeah, go first. Um, uh, I, it, was, it was Luke Mogelson's article in The New Yorker. And it was literally, I, you know, this sounds like hyperbole, but it was just a few sentences into this article where I was hooked. And in large part, it was, I kind of very quickly saw the opportunity to tell this story to right. uh, the, the world, the, the world at large, uh, because only the people in that part of the world, I think even, even knew about this team and knew the sort of lives they had to live to try and take back their city. So immediately I, I, I kind of fell in love with the idea of telling a very different type of you know war story in the middle east um and i had joe and anthony um when i i mean again it's rare that you have producers who are more excited about a, a seemingly insane idea uh shooting this in you know baghdad dialect arabic um with you know actors that don't look like me um, uh, I just, it was, it was all kind of a beautiful experience and the ability to kind of, to do the movie, uh, is close to, uh, the honest, truthful situation on the ground there. Um, I, I, I don't know if you get many of those opportunities. So that's where I was hooked. And uh, we see in the film, the, the major is clearly, is, he's a very caring man. He cares about the men who he's with. He sees them as brothers and sons, but he's also a very brutal man. So I was wondering, Sahel, what was it like for you balancing those two sides of this very complicated character? Uh, can you be the question, please? And slowly a, a little bit. My, you yeah. know, my, my, my language is not really good. <laughs> of course. I was just wondering with the major, Obviously, he's a very kind man, but he's also very brutal. What was it like for you to balance those two sides? Yeah, uh, uh, Major Jason's character, it was really, uh, it was like the two sides on, on this character. And we talk, we talk about that with the, with the filmmaker about that, me and Matthew and the, uh, the producers. Uh, and uh, it was really complicated because two different sides. He, he was very, very strict with his, with his team and he, he, he's very humble too, to, carry, uh, to take care of them too. Uh, but, but we go for, uh, further with this character and uh, we did the, the right thing with it, with the director, of course. Yeah, and we see his home has been destroyed, but he still makes a conscious effort to pick up the litter around him. And I was wondering, Matthew and Sahil, what, what was your take on, on why he does that? Um, my take was just, you have to start somewhere. Um, that, you know, as he's fighting to take back his city, um, this, is a, this was a character that uh, I imagined never wanted to be doing what he's doing. You know, when he, when he talks about in the Humvee, I was a police officer once and I loved it. I was a really good detective. Like that was what that man wanted to do. He didn't want to have to fight hour by hour, day by day. And so, you know, every little bit helps. If he sees trash, he's going to pick it up because you have to start somewhere. And, it, and to me, it was just this little gesture that that spoke volumes about who this man was, what he valued and what he wanted for his home. Hmm. And Adam, we see your character go, go through so much during just a, short, a few short hours, really. What was it like for you to take him through that journey, which is so intense and so hard hitting? What, what, what's your question? What, what, what was it like? 
Uh, what was it like to see your character go through that journey where he starts off quite innocent, but by the end, he's, he's almost transformed? Oh, he is transformed. Uh, well, it was as intense as you see it in a movie. I mean, um, Matthew really draw this, um, this intense arc to the character. And so we work together on, on faces, you know, and try to, to really cut it into faces to try not to be a step ahead of the character or the story and evolve with him so yeah it was it was intense <laughs> yeah do you, do you guys obviously the film deals with some very hard-hitting material do you feel that you can have fun working on a project like this when you're doing those action scenes all of you or does it just not feel very appropriate to almost be enjoying yourselves great question oh yeah you guys want to take it first yeah you take it Matthew. <laughs> It was, uh, it's a great question. I, I've yet to be asked that question, actually. Um, I, it, it was impossible not to enjoy yourself is the wrong way to, to, to say it, but like it was an enthralling thing um, because the, these guys, this cast was so good and so game for everything I wanted to try and everything I wanted to do because, you know, as as Thayer said more than once, like I, I'm just ecstatic. I'm not ISIS driver number four. Um, that you know, I get to be a good guy. Um, so to see the cast revel in that, like that we're the heroes, that was just enthralling, and I couldn't get enough of it. Um, but there are moments. You know, I'm thinking, and this harkens back to the question you just asked, Adam. I, I'm, and I'm hoping I'm, I'm not speaking out of turn here, Adam. But after he kills his partner in the basement, um, after we stopped rolling, um, Adam walked away, and I didn't know where he was, and I went and, and found him, and he was sobbing um, because that was a fucking brutal, brutal day of shooting, and he had to do this brutal thing. And um, I think, you know, that, that emotion is just who Adam is as a person. And the fact that that kind of screamed out in that scene from Kawa, um, yeah, it's, it's brutally hard, but as a filmmaker, it, 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 it's these moments of kind of nirvana where you realize, I, I think I've tapped into something real here. Mm. Yeah, and w w you meant you alluded to this earlier, Michael. But w w with a with a film like this, uh, typically would see it would be a group of American heroes who go in, they save the day, and a SWAT team like this would be almost second fiddle to them. Were you worried when you were writing the film you'd get that sort of pushback that people would want that big star being being the lead? N no, never once, because I was with Joe and Anthony, and and from Jump Street. Like I said, they loved the idea that we would shoot it in Arabic um, with uh, a, a cast from that part of the world. Um, so never once, I, I, I think the, the greater risk is doing a movie like this and again, having you know, some bankable star show up and, and, and show the team what it is to fight. And you know, that, it's just, it's not real. It's not the world we live in. And, you know, to, to, to do something like have a, a, a cast from this part of the world, but then have them all speak English, you know, and they usually it's just that, that well, if we give them English accents, that's like the stand in for all, you know, foreign languages. If you have actors, you know, that, that speak with an English accent. Um, I, I just, it, that's the lazy way to go about this movie. That's the uninteresting way to go about this movie. And I'm forever thankful uh, to, to Joe and Anthony and Mike LaRocca and Jake Aust um, because they just ate this idea up and there was never a question we would, we would flinch or deviate. Yeah, and Adam and Sahel, you both have such a good bond in the film. Your characters are almost like father and son. How long did it take for you to both come up with that dynamic? Did you have to do a lot of work behind the scenes to get that, or was it quite natural on set? Uh, I'll 
Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's like the father and son. Uh, let me say we 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 was sitting a, uh, behind scene a long time. Me and Adam and the other characters too, with the other actors too. Like we sit like maybe maybe then more than four hours some some days, and some days we talking about our, our uh, the the dialogue too. It, because it's you know it's it's really hard for Adam because he's from Tunisia. Tunisia is it's a lot of different dialogue between Iraqi dialogue and and Matthew and the, the filmmaker they want the really Iraqi dialogue and uh, it was really good the relationship between me and them. We go uh, sit together and we go take a lunch together. We go to take the, the dinner together, wherever we go, we go together. I told, I told them uh, in the beginning, before we start, let's do the relationship between us like a father and sons here, because we need to get it in, on, the, uh, on the location too, when we're shooting. That, that's what's happened between us. The thing is there a lot of cigarettes, a lot of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> a little worrisome at times but yes it bonded yeah. them the the thing is it was uh, there was no space for us for 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 this relationship not to work it was impossible since the beginning we talked with the uh, Zuhail and all the guys I mean as you said we we're like family and we we're like this has to work or the movie doesn't come together it's such so, and without words sometimes, because it's, a, as you see in the movie, it's a lot of eye contact and it's a lot of feeling. These guys live, sleep, eat together all the time. So we quite, everyone agreed that we had this, everyone was up, uh, as he said, Matthew, I mean, everyone had such a good energy. And even sometimes we couldn't stand each other, we stand with each other. <laughs> like we had to do it, it had to be, because even if we fight, I mean, in the real story, they don't have a choice but to stay together. So sometimes uh, I remember we had arguments, but we, we never left the table. We stayed because it was the way it was supposed to be. And uh, all the, the guys are so clever, I mean, acting wise to understand this, that it had to, to be natural after because we won't have not time to talk on, on, on shooting and just a quick uh, phrase, quick sentence, quick eye look, and we will know what to do. And, and Suhail, yeah, it was absolutely, he, he taught me a lot, a lot of the dialect. He always corrected me till a point he was not supporting me. I was not, I was like, how do you pronounce this better? And, uh, and all the time, yeah, he was, it, it, it was, yeah, it was, um, I mean, yeah, it, it, we can say that. Yeah, it's like a father and son relationship, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. And finally, uh, Michael, obviously having worked with the Russos, they've got a big history with Marvel. I was wondering, is a superhero film something you're interested in writing or directing? And for Adam and Sahil, would you like to star in a superhero film if that opportunity came up? Um, if, if, uh, if Joe and Anthony are, are producing it um, and we can do something very different and wild and unexpected, uh, Hell yeah. I mean, I, I would, I would do most anything with those guys. Um, so yeah, it, it, as long as they're an integral part of it, sure. And sit, same for you guys as well, Adam and Sahel? Yeah, as you said, yeah, if it's wild and unpredictable, yeah, it's definitely. And if Matthew is directing, I'll do it. And so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. Matthew. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. I'll send you guys checks after this. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not really. I'm, I, what I'm saying, uh, Matthew, is not front of them. Uh, in front of him, uh, he's he's really, really, very, very nice person, and uh, I, I brought to work with him. I, it was really, really, really nice. Thank you, Matthew. Uh, thank and you. thank you for for giving us this opportunity too. Please. My pleasure, pal. You're welcome. That's a thank perfect you. note to end things on. And thank you so much, guys. As I said, I, I love the film. You're all fantastic work in it. So hope to speak to you again. And thanks again for your time today. Josh, thank you.
Thank you. You asked okay, really great questions you, too, man. I'm not just saying that. Those were really good questions. <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you again, guys. Right. Thanks. Take care. Thanks, guys.